I don't care what anybody says, what anybody tells me. Everyone's more welcome to have their opinion in the comments below. By the end of the day, I think Takashi 69 is a joke. Takashi 69, we all know, became a snitch. Well, maybe he's always been a snitch and we just caught up onto it because he was facing a case that was gonna put him in prison for about, I think, 60 years minimum, I believe. I'm not quite sure. Some people are okay with what he did because they say, you know, who would wanna be in prison for that long? Why not give the cops all the information that you have so you can have your freedom? Okay, I get it. That's something I would do, but I ain't no gangbanger. I don't sell drugs, okay? But if you are gonna live that lifestyle, you're agreeing to the street life code, okay? You're, agree you're agreeing to the point where anything you dabble in, along with your gangbanging friends, you cannot be snitching on anybody, okay? That's just what it is. A snitch is a bitch. Takashi 69 is a bitch, <laughs> and he pretty much snitched on everybody that he was cool with, that he pretty much ran the streets with. So he threw them all under the bus. It got him a lot of years from off prison life, right? I haven't been catching up to the story lately, but TMZ Live posted a video called Takashi 69 plans to leave New York City after prison with top-notch security. I, do y'all understand that by any chance? Like, Takashi. <laughs> Usually when someone snitches, they usually give them a, what do you call it? They pretty much get into a witness protection program, right? Where they have them, they change their names, their identification, they move them out of state, whatever the situation may be, to protect them. Takashi can't be protected. First of all, he's a well-known celebrity, okay? Everyone knows who he, who he is and how he looks like. He's got rainbow hair. And he's not planning on changing it. Obviously he hasn't since he got locked up. He's been wearing that rainbow hair since day one and still is. You're gonna stand out. How are you gonna try to hide? There's no way. So I don't know if that's part of the plan of putting him in a witness protection program. I don't know. But you're gonna have to like either cut off all that hair, get some plastic surgery. I feel like that's the only way you can probably live, but Nobody has respect for you. All these gangs and all these people that you snitched on, if you can live this life without them getting to you, it does not matter. You lost the respect of a lot of people, point blank. Anybody who snitches and you're part of that lifestyle, you're a bitch. Well, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and see what this video is about. Security's not gonna save you, Takashi. I'm telling you that much right now. Security is not gonna save you. If anything, you're putting them in harm's way. All right, so let's go ahead and watch this video. It's a short video, by the way. I just want to see what this is about. Takashi is 6'9", already looking forward to the day when he gets out of prison, which, as we told you, is That's crazy. August. Yeah, sometime uh, this August. summer, late summer. Yeah. He'll be uh, getting out, and then... That's pretty remarkable. He's going to be getting out of New York City. <laughs> why, why, why New York? I mean, why does he think getting away from Bobby, New York... are you kidding me? No, that's not the, because that's what the game... Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I mean, I think this is old footage, but look at him. Look how small he is. He's even smaller than the cop. Granted, I guess security might be supposed to be larger than you. You know, they're there to protect. But look at the cop. <laughs> Takashi's a little bitch, y'all. Like, he just is. What's so interesting to me is i don't understand why people found it so surprising that he snitched well he gossips he talks shit about everybody he talks when a man talks shit about another man you're a female that's what females do they talk shit about each other they gossip they they do they spread rumors and and that's what takashi was doing takashi was doing they call it trolling right they call it trolling when a guy does it that he, he decided on, that he to just on. kill on a, a bunch of gang members and was uh, a snitch of come. the year. Yeah. So clearly he wanted <laughs> I don't think it. I don't think he was a snitch of the year. I think it was a snitch of the decade. He's, he's, not, leaving, he's not leaving New York to come to LA. No, I think, I, I, I think I'm, like uh, I'm saying Wisconsin was, woods somewhere. He, yeah, he probably is going to be in the middle of like... Uh, when everyone's trying to talk at the same time because they're so passionate about his snitching, everyone wants to have a word. 
everyone wants to state their opinion. We're all pretty much against you, Takashi. So good luck, man, because I don't know if you can even li live your, the rest of your life out here. I think you were probably better off. Nah, you were not better off in prison. You just fucked yourself. I don't know what else to, sell, to, what else to tell you. I'm in Oklahoma or something. If he goes to Oklahoma with, you know, rainbow hair and tattoos and everything else, he's gonna be noticed in a nanosecond. No, he may be noticed, but the um the gang that he snitched on has to travel some miles to whoop his ass. Well, you get an example, you get an advantage I'm just saying that, well, no, but I, I, what I'm saying is that oh. that's the point. <laughs> Everybody right? knows that the nine twenty bloods don't fly American, so. Oh my okay, God. Okay, mileage plus then. <laughs> mileage plus, right. Hi, Millennia in Florida. I really didn't know anything about Katashi 69 before the whole situation of fiasco and snitching. This guy. But I think it's amazing that he thinks he can look the exact same, <laughs> do the exact same crap. There's no way. After all. I'll be very surprised if he, get, if he gets back into his music. Who is going to buy his records? Who? I don't care how good his music was. His music was okay in my opinion. But I don't care how good he gets in his music. I can't respect a person like that and I think most people can't. If you're gonna be rapping about the street life and you snitched, really? Who's gonna, who's gonna take you seriously? I sure as hell ain't. All that that he just did. I agree with you. I don't understand it, but we will see, I guess. So that was a quick video about Takashi. Listen, he just he just surprises me. I don't know what's going on with this guy. Before anything else, I wanted to read a comment from one of my viewers. I'm trying to do this in every video. If I don't do it, it's because I simply forgot to put it in. But here goes one by Lori M Muggy or Mugi. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. She says. I just went back to watch your videos of you trying to get pregnant. My partner and I just welcomed our little miracle baby a month ago through IVF. She was my surrogate and I feel so blessed. That's awesome. IVF is so much more expensive but also has a much higher chance I think of getting pregnant. Good luck and do not give up. Yeah girl, it, it's a bigger chance doing IVF. It's still not a great percentage. None of them is a huge great percentage. I believe IVF is like 50% of a chance. IUI I believe was 30% and I think it also depends on the woman's body. But I, That's awesome man, good for you. I, I'm happy for you. And when it comes to my wife and I and trying to get pregnant, I'm, it's still up in the air. I did say a few years ago after the sixth attempt that I wasn't gonna do it anymore. Emotionally it was too tough. Um, I pretty much gave up on it. But there's little signs here and there that's showing me that maybe we should give IVF a chance. I know it's extra expensive, but there ain't no price to having a child in life. No price at all. Like that's, money is just paper and we're not taking that to our graves, right? We'll see. I'm not sure yet. There's a lot to think about. All right, so thank you so much for commenting. And everyone, please comment because I will read a couple of your comments on my videos. All right, now, so let's get back to the topic. He's just a lost soul. And he lost a lot more than his finances. He lost his pride, his ego, everything. For what? To not spend the rest of his years in prison? I think you're gonna have a more fucked up life out here, boy. Good luck to you, because I don't wish harm on nobody, regardless. But, if you lived that street life, you have to go by the code. You can't snitch. How are you gonna tell on people that when you're doing the same damn thing with them? How? I don't get it. I don't get it. What do you think about this? Comment below, let me know what you think about Takashi coming out, snitching, and about him getting um, top-notch security and leaving New York City. Do you think that's gonna save him? And tell me your honest opinion, I really wanna know. Comment below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video, peace.